Yo guys, what's going on? It's Aces here today with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys how to profit off of in-game events in Escape from Tarkov. Now, this event that I'm going to be referencing a lot here in today's video is the Dehydration event. This is the first event we've seen in the middle of a wipe, and it's only a month into 12.11. It's the first time we've seen this. Any other time there's been any kind of event, it's been at a pre-wipe event. So this is the first of its kind, and hopefully we see more of it to come. Good and bad events. You guys got to remember, Nikita wants this. He wants reactive events. He wants reactive traders. He wants reactive everything. He wants it to be more realistic and hardcore. That's what this game is shaping out to be, a hardcore game. It is not for casual players. So all the bitching I saw yesterday in the dehydration video, guys, that's what the game is supposed to be. It's supposed to be that hardcore experience. Get used to it. Now that I made my piece, let's talk about how to profit from this event and all future events if you are a future viewer and there's a different kind of event happening. Now, some different events that might happen could be, you know, fuel shortages, maybe ammo shortages, magazine failures, you know, gun failures. Who knows what it might be? There's so many different things Nikita could think up. You know, even as far as a fabric shortage to where backpacks are a lot less common on scavs and rigs are a lot less common. You know, maybe scavs are running around with just, you know, shotguns and SKSs with ammunition in their pockets. Who knows what could happen, but I'm telling you that it could happen. And that's why you have to think about these things and maybe stock up a little bit of stuff. So I'm going to give you three different things in today's video, and I'm going to tell you them now so you don't have to wait for a specific one. I'm going to give you the order we're going to go over them. Having a max hideout is number one. Number two is knowing what to buy. Buy it before an event, just, you know, based on speculation. And then you will save money so you don't have to spend it later. That way, it's not really profit, but you're saving rubles that, you know, will be in somewhat an inflated price, which I'll show you an example of. And then the third one is knowing your spawns for certain event items when the events happen. That way, you can go into maps fully prepared and know where to farm loot ahead of time to make the most money off of the inflated items. So let's hop into it. We're going to try to be quick with this one. So the hideout. I'm going to give you a couple examples. Right now, dehydration event. You want to focus the nutrition unit. If you have your hideout maxed, you're good to go. It's not going to worry. You're not going to worry about having, you know, items that are going to give you hydration because you can just make them. It's not really a big deal in the long run. But if you don't have your hideout maxed out, you might really struggle, especially if you're not level 20 either for the flea market. There's a lot of variables, but assuming that you do have a maxed out hideout, you could, in this case, make the Aquamares, which are selling for 30000 a piece. You can make hot rods. You could make the kvass and you can make the energy drinks. You could make a lot of different things here in the nutrition unit. Now, let's say there's an ammo shortage. Well, luckily for you, we have plenty of options. Now, this, when I say ammo shortage, might not be all ammunitions. It might be certain pen ammunitions. It might be certain flesh damage ammunitions. So many different things could happen. So many different events. You can't prepare for it all. But if you have a general knowledge of what you're doing, it certainly can help you. But... Any ammo shortage that we might have, we have almost every single caliber here in the workbench, so you would at least have something lethal to use. And with that being said, you could then make it if you have the items and or can go find the items, which everybody can do. They can play all the maps with no problem. So with that being said, that is where you're at on the workbench. I said fabric shortage earlier. You can make, you know, rigs, backpacks, any of that stuff here in the lavatory. And if there was ever a fuel shortage, you know, Zippos and Cricket lighters might go through the roof, but you can still make fuel as well so whatever it might be in the future item related or item reactive you can make those items in the hideout and it's always going to be found in raid assuming nothing changes in the future with the flea market or the hideout so with that being said this is going to be your best way to profit right now the next is going to be through saving money i'm going to show you a great example right away so we're going to head into this case here you can see i have some max energy drinks now i don't know how many's here maybe 15 or so but Let's just say you bought 10 of these at the beginning of wipe for 4,000 rubles. That's a 40,000 ruble investment. Okay, easy math, right? Well, now the energy drinks are worth about 14,000 rubles. So now you made 100,000 rubles profit in theory. You can't sell them, but you don't have to pay the inflated prices now. So you saved that money. So it's almost like you're profiting. It's just not money in the bank. So if you buy the stuff early, if you stock up or you farm it through looting, you're going to be saving that much more money once a certain item does get inflated. It's like having CPU fans on the first day of wipe and then, you know, two weeks down the road when they're 30k, you got them for free or if you bought them for 5k, 
now they're worth 30 and you in theory make 25,000 rubles by saving that money so that is the second way just by saving money and having these items earlier than when they are at, at an inflated price the next and final way is having the map knowledge and i do want to say for this dehydration event that's happening right now in 12.11 i am going to make a video on the best two maps to find the best loot and get out the quickest so with that being said i'm going to tell you what those are interchange and goshen and the way you do that is you bring in a really big rig you go loot the food and then you take hole in the fence and then for woods it's going to be go to the new village and take the car extract you can do more research on that or wait for my video the reason I'm telling you this is because anybody who's watching this video within the first couple days of it being uploaded, I don't want this dehydration event to end and me make you wait a week for this content when it's kind of irrelevant at that point until, you know, a wipe later when the event happens again. So that's kind of my, you know, reasoning behind that. But any future events such as maybe ammo shortages or fuel shortages, I would want to make videos to help with those events too, such as ammo spawns on custom and reserve, and then fuel spawns on interchange and customs, a whole bunch of different stuff like that. So very reactive type content to certain events in game, but you having all of that knowledge ahead of time makes it so you don't have to go watch videos, you don't have to scour the internet, and you don't have to pay exorbitant prices on the flea market. You just have the knowledge, you go into the map, get what you need, and you are good to go. So that is how you profit off of in-game events at Escape from Tarkov. It might not be the exact, you know, money cheap pyramid scheme, uh, craft scheme that you wanted, but it's honestly the bare bones of it and the most simple way I could put it for everybody to understand and not make it too complicated. So if you did enjoy the video here today, make sure you drop a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Tons more Tarkov content here for you, especially if you're into money guides. We got a lot of that here. So make sure you hit that sub button. Sponsors for the channel and all the equipment in my entire game is set up in the description below if you would so be interested in checking it out. And a membership option is next to the subscription button for anyone who wants to go the extra mile to support the channel. Not necessary, but definitely very helpful in keeping things up and running here. So that's going to do it for me today. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I'm out.